customer engine build. This is ERE number 108. It's Ozzy Goodman and Sean Townsend's. This was originally number 59, and I received it from them for a rebuild. The bearings were in perfect shape. Again. I wanted to uh, bring this video back up. That is a testament to the owner, not the builder, so much. And it's because of the good oil that they used, frequent oil changes. There's nothing I could do to make a perfect, perfect bearing bearings like that. I was tempted to reuse the rod bearings. Anyway, the engine got rebuilt, same pistons, went to the dyno, made okay horsepower, but I sensed that there was resonance, some shaking with the motor, and probably too much piston to bore clearance. I, I rebuilt it, allowing the eight to nine thousandths piston to bore clearance, and I think that's just way too much. Kind of so, fast forward to today. I took it to 40 over, got a 40 over piston. Today, basically, uh, going to do a narration with the pictures I took for the assembly. Crankshaft was rebalanced for the lighter bob weight and Chris at Clinton Machine did the balance and polished the crankshaft. Here is a picture of the camshaft bearings that I put in into the block. Also, Clinton Machine uh, bored the, the block to 4.040 40 over. That's the crankshaft and the, the polished journals, one of the main journals it looks like. So I set the crank in, put the main bearings in, the main caps, torqued the main caps, checked the thrust. Again, it was previously 3.5 thou or 0 0.0035 for thrust and it's currently 0 0.004 so just like it used to be all the bearing clearances were, were what they were right after the dyno and a picture of the molly piston it's a minus 26 dish so that's going to help with the blower uh, keep the compression ratio reasonable uh, the thermal top coating there molly will do a thermal top coating for any of their piston kits. Uh, it takes maybe one month longer, but all you gotta do is call them up and they will do that. So today I just put the rods and pistons together, hung them on the rack, and that's it for today. I just wanted to get this video out. It's easier uploading pictures and doing a video than it is putting it up on the webpage. This is Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Take care.